Hey, everybody. Hi. How's it going? I'm gonna do some early uh, Animal Crossing. Vinny, we missed you. Well, I was gone one day. Um, yeah, I'm here. I mean, I'll be back later, too. Somehow Blue Bear made it from the cliff down to the, uh, to the main area. I have no idea how you did that, Blue Bear. That's impressive. Have you seen this duck? Did Vinny ever get his pizza? No. I got the ginger ale. I'll tell you, I wasn't here yesterday. I was not feeling good yesterday. I slept really poorly. I was a little worried. Um, wasn't feeling good. So I felt better around halfway through the day. And then I went shopping. And, uh, the supermarkets were... The one I went to was, like, almost completely empty. It wasn't VR sickness. It was, like, bad headache. Our island gained a new neighbor today, Egbert. I did play this yesterday, so I got to do some of my Animal Crossing stuff yesterday. Um, played with some of the mods for a bit. But yeah, I mean, I'm okay. I'm okay now. I just, yesterday was worried and not feeling good and, and, um... I just slept it off. Like, I was gonna even stream last night, maybe, but I ended up taking a nap around 9 and waking up at midnight. So, that was weird. But, I did, um... No, it was okay. I just kind of listened to my, my body, which was ready to sleep. And I just kind of made the decision, like, maybe it's best I don't... You know, I don't stream. So, I took the day off. So, I needed to... Oh, there we go. I needed to, uh, play early today so I could get to the shop. Um... I did play yesterday, like I said. I managed to... There was a Gulliver encounter, again. Um... I didn't really do too much, but like I said, I played with some of the mods. We had, like, a little bit of a... You know, we exchanged, uh, the fruit. Stuff like that. I caught some bugs. Sphinx? Huh. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all feeling okay. Um, I was... You know, listen, yesterday, lack of sleep, stuff like that, but more, more than anything, of course, you know, you start getting real hypochondriac and you're like, Oh, what happened here? Why am I not feeling good? But, it turns out it wasn't really anything to worry about. Hey, that floor light looks kind of cool. Some, some new stuff in the house. Um, you can't do stuff on the walls, can you, from here? You can if you hit plus. Okay. Oh. Well, that's nice. Oh, you can even place stuff up high, too. That's great. Oh, fuck. Well, they, they definitely made some of this, like, really, really user-friendly. I like that. Like, I was really, um, 
I was hoping that some of the quality of life stuff from New Leaf would carry over and be expanded on. Looks like... Looks like it has been. Um, I have a couple new things. Nothing too crazy, but, like, my house is a little bit more fleshed out now. Bungus will be over there. Vinny, you gotta get Celia a birthday present. It's Celia's birthday today? I'm also gonna need a new floor light for Drake. I need a new bed, too. This bed is kind of trash. Vinny, more Half-Life Alex tonight. Yeah, I, I think so. I'm sorry that RimWorld has been getting a little shafted. If I'm feeling up to it, I might um, play RimWorld before Half-Life Alex. But... Um, I fucking love RimWorld so much, I don't want it to just go to the wayside. But, you know, situation um, of, of video games at the moment is not being particularly... Let's say it's, it's a little harder to stream RimWorld now than it ever has been. Should, that should be outside. That looks pretty okay. I got my trash over here, which maybe we can move the trash can. Um, I got this autograph thing from a tree, which is kind of cool. Vinny, did you change your mic? You sound more cheerful than usual. <laughs> Could you imagine the microphone making someone sound more cheerful? There's terpenes in the microphone. Oh, it's the Sphinx. Like, the actual, like, fucking Sphinx. Wow. I, I like it. I, I don't have room for it right now, but I definitely can use this at some point. Put it on the beach? For now, I can put it on the beach. Let's see. Um, like I said, some of my, my mod friendos came over yesterday for a little bit. And um, they gave me an Animal Crossing... New Leaf TM Nintendo Switch trademark Nintendo 2020. So I think the regular Switch I can put away for a little bit until I find another table. And uh, I'm going to put a Nintendo Sphinx up there. Cool. Vinny, is that an effects pedal? Yes, it is. Actually, I think uh, Dave or Char gave that one to me. Because, like I said, I was definitely not feeling up to streaming. Like, my head was not good. I was not feeling that great. But, I was like, I can chill with some Animal Crossing. So, that was actually kind of fun. Like, there's not much to do. The problem is, like, when you have people over, you have to kind of just talk. Or just hit each other with nets. Or, like, fish. I feel like, um, New Leaf had more stuff to do. There was at least, like, the minigame stuff. Vinny, you had people over and you feel sick. No, 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 in-game, in Animal Cross. Oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, it's a pedal board. I got an ironing set. Um, I got this from a tree, as one does. Uh, I caught a bunch of bugs and stuff. There's still a lot of fossils that need to be donated. Let's 
Vinny, what's on your pedal board? Like, in real life? Um, I have more pedals than I know what to do with. Like, we, we kind of just pull them together at the studio. I have Joe's pedals, mine. Some people leave their own pedals there. Um... I have, let's say, I have like three or four that I use a lot, which is the JHS Thunderbolt, or Superbolt, sorry. I use the Electroharmonics Cathedral for reverb. I have the Monosynth for weird synth effects on the guitar, and I have the, um, oh man, I have a compressor, I forget which one it is. So, those are kind of the more common ones I use, and, and for the new album I used, um, so the mono synth I used for the new album, and then the synth 9 was what I used for the last one, and uh, still this one. So, a lot of electroharmonics for anyone that knows what that means. They're good. They make good, good quality pedal. And I use them a lot, but we, we go through like, you know, it depends on the day. It depends on what kind of effect we're going for. Also, fuck the string fish. I spent, like, 12 to 15 fish food trying to catch the goddamn string fish. Someone took in chat 70 fish bait. Another person said 50. Uh, I don't know which one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Char. Desert. Dave. Uh, so, Desert made an observation that, um, Frog, Diva, looks like Psy Snoodles from Star Wars. And it's... Honestly, yes. There's, like, no doubt in my mind at this point. Let's see if I can grab a... I had a picture here of uh, Psy Snoodles. Here we go. Psy Snoodles. Sorry, Snoodles. There's D.Va. <laughs> There's the... the chat emotes. Very nice. Um, chat, I want to buy another floor light. Are you enjoying Clone Wars? I haven't been watching it. Probably will, though. You can get it from the catalog. Uh... Where is the catalog? Is it in... Timmy and Tommy's? I forget where that is. Nook Shopping? Oh, it's right here, okay. Oh, very, very silly. Okay. Um, there we go. 2020 bells. 2,200 bells for this thing. It's not cheap. Actually, let me check out special goods. Let's see what we've got today. Flamingo, Tulip Hat, Misty T, Zigzag, Denim, Rain Boot. Vin, you seem to be slow today. I woke up really late. Uh, I don't... I'm definitely not 100% with it today. A little slow brain. Yeah, so... If, a little tired. Definitely a little tired. I, on one hand, I didn't sleep enough yesterday, and then on the other hand, I slept way too much last night. So... 
So it's just a bad combination. I wonder if my money tree... Oh, it, there it is. Hell yeah. So now I have some cardboard boxes. Um... I know I had a recipe here for a cardboard bed. I need four. Shit. Hmm. Well, I've got one in the house. Vinny, what were your expectations for Half-Life Alex? Um, watch the uh, Half-Life Alex stream I, I did the other day. And it'll become more apparent, but I'll say my expectations were not, like, Half-Life 2 level expectations. It was like, oh, this could be a cool VR game, you know, but it ended up, it ended up blowing me away, honestly. Are you streaming it later today? I'm gonna try to. I've been, like, thinking about it a lot. You know, I also have, um... Maybe not... This week, because of all the games that I want to play, but... Um, Dreams. I've got some new packs that people have made. Naimo and, uh... Well, the other dude. It's been helping me out, so... Next Dream stream could also be really good. But I've been very, um you know, overloaded with stuff to stream, so some of that's on delay a little bit. I hope you don't mind. Animal Crossing has taken over my life chat. How many did I need? I needed... I needed two, right? So I'm gonna get three so I can display another object on it. I wanna make a cardboard house. Vinny, did you hear about how Nintendo is putting down takedown notices on Mario fanworks in Dreams? Yeah. That's a little lame. To be honest, not entirely unexpected from Nintendo. You know, this is not surprising. Someone said, what's Nintendo's problem? I, you know, they have a number of problems. I love them, but... You know, th there's this theory of, man, I sound like, um, D.Va. Come on, you know! There's this problem of them feeling like they have to protect their IP if it's a fan work. But, it's like, just leave it, bro. It's just dreams. No one's gonna not buy Mario Odyssey because they're playing some shitty Mario fan game in dreams. It's just not gonna happen. Like, it's not the same thing. You know, Nintendo, if anything... If anything, if people see Mario in dreams, that might make them want to actually play a real Mario game. You know? I, that's how I feel about it, at least. It's like, oh shit, Mario, I love Mario. Maybe I'll check out that... that Mario Odyssey. I don't think it damages the brand. I think fan games in some ways strengthen it. it. Just shows you, you know, what people want and what they're capable of making and uh I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong, but I I'm also a consumer and and um I don't own the Mario IP, you know. Mantis. I'll be able to build that cardboard bed real soon. I still have a lot of things that um, belong to Blathers. I 
I always feel a little weird streaming early because I don't want to step on other other people's streaming. Like Limes is streaming, you know, there's a lot of people that I I know stream early and I always feel bad stepping on other people's schedules. I know it's weird. I know it's just a dumb thing that I I think, you know, not that big of a deal, but Um, so, you know, su support, support them and stuff and check them out when you, when you can, but, uh, Wendy's is streaming Animal Crossing. How could you? What do you mean Wendy's is streaming Animal Crossing? Like the Wendy? I like how incredibly out of place these trees are. Boy, I can't wait to go to Advertisement Island. Let me guess, you go to Wendy's um, Island, they talk about how McDonald's beef is awful, XD. And that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, that type of marketing does work on a lot of people, so... You know, I make fun of it, but it's, it's been wildly successful for them. Massive. It's just silent gameplay with ads on the screen? Yeah, that sounds about right. I remember one time... They were bragging about how their beef... ...is never frozen. And someone was like... Well, how do you, like, transport it? Like, how do you get it to the store, bro? Has to be frozen. Of course it's frozen. And they were like, refrigeration exists, bro. And everyone was like, oh, you got dunked on. I'm gonna buy me a uh, five for five. So if your dunks are good enough on Twitter, you can actually... You can sell some product. Let's see. Egbert. Vinny, you haven't unlocked the town hall yet. No, no, no. I haven't been, um... I have not been time traveling. I'm Egbert. It makes me happy that you came to visit so soon after moving. And we gotta hang out sometime. I've got so many snacks to share with you, Vine. It's like my chicken from RimWorld. So, um, Egbert, you know, if you go over to Wendy's Island, you can become the famous Wendy Chicken Nugget. You know, I think this Sphinx probably wants to look out onto the ocean. Isn't that nice? New DIY recipe uh, by a scene in a novel I'm reading by Bertha. Rocking horse. I don't know what kind of novels they're reading.
Vinny, did you hear about Star Trek Picard using a bunch of stock footage? No. Can you please tweet that to me? Whatever you're talking about, can you please tweet that to me? Honeybee. That's the first time I caught a bee in the game. Oh, the, yeah, the rotting fox I've seen in a million things. I just didn't even consider that, yeah. In an attempt to make things look epic, they had the, the rotting fox dot gif. Like, sometimes um, Star Trek Picard tries to be profound, but it ends up just coming across as profoundly stupid. <laughs> Yeah, no, what they tried to do is they tried to, uh, show the passing of time, and how, like, you know, time rots animals, I guess. I, I don't know, man. So, I did go shopping yesterday, and, um, I will tell you that the store was mostly empty. And I was mostly able to just stay like, way more than six feet away from people. Um... It was so... It was so empty, and everyone was wearing between... It was like, either gloves... Gloves and a mask. Um... Fucking gas masks, like the half gas mask. It was kind of, um... It, 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 it was shitty. Like, it, it just really, a lot of this stuff just sinks in when you go out shopping. There's also one of the only places open. Which is for the best, but... Um, at least people were respectful. People were keeping distance from each other. I wore gloves. Um, I ended up getting ginger ale. So I'm happy about that. I got some pizza. I didn't eat the pizza yesterday, I wasn't feeling up to it, but I did get it. So I managed to stock up on food, and I'm probably good now for like another three weeks, four weeks maybe. Frozen or fresh? Both. Some fresh food, some vegetables, all that stuff, but also plenty of frozen stuff, some rice, um... Hang on, I'm just checking these trees for furniture. You know, macaroni, sauce, all that stuff. Bread. Gotta have sauce. It's just, that's an easy thing to make that will last a long time, like pasta. Really... Like, simple, effective. You throw some meatballs in there. Rustic. Hey, Blue Bear. Stuck up here? What's the latest? Did you know the moon is about 235,000 miles away? I'm gonna walk around the Hoor Island shore until I've walked that far. Just call me Moon Bear Cub. Emmy visited. Want to, want to hear something low-key fab? Back home, they're known as Aspiring Savant. That's Lay Bonkers. Oh god, the Lay. That's right. She speaks with Lay. Emmy's Char. I need to get a shiny new title, too. Every pop star should have one, Peach. How about Internet Trash? You want mine? Somebody new moved in today. Have you already said hi? I want to meet them, too.
Retro stereo, cool. I gotta really, like, clear out my pockets. I gotta do some donation. I wanna get Celia a gift. But I have to donate some stuff to the museum. How long until the bear's organs are harvested? I'll let you know. I mean, the salt mines aren't an option this time around, are they? What the hell is this thing? I have to buy that amplifier. It's red. So there are amps called Vox. I have one, actually. It's not a red one, though. Paint it? What, the one in real life? Uh, no, I'm- I'm good. <laughs> I'm way too lazy for that. God damn, that was expensive. Worth it. I don't have an electric guitar in the game, though. I only have, um, the acoustic one. Green intricate wall. Gray shanty wall. That's- that's a nice trash wall. Uh, blue mosaic. Uh. I have this dilemma where I want to buy stuff, but I also would like to save up for my, you know, new house. I know there's- there's garbage, uh, floor and wall, which I'm gonna need at some point. Someone said same, I just buy for the catalog. Yeah. Smart. I mean, it's nice to have the stuff catalogs. It's also nice to have options. Like, if you find some kind of design that you want to stick with, and you don't have... ...later on, you can just check your catalog, or the stuff you have. It's like, oh. I can make this room into a space trash room. I already had the bagworm. Alright, Blathers, you're up. Everybody wants to learn... Yeah, it's amazing how many things I still have that I haven't donated yet, that are just sitting in my catalog at home. Don't let the mantis's angelic pose fool you, for it truly is monstrous. The mantis is known for its large size and tremendous strength, and for sickle-like arms that pack a punch. And though they tend to eat bugs and spiders, mantises have been known to dine on small animals, too. Oof. And those eerie eyes. Oh my, did you know it has five of them? 
two big ones and three small? I think the idea of a mantis being like 12 feet tall and an alien is, is very cool. <laughs> like in FTL, you could get a mantis crew member. Did you know it takes a team of honeybees working together to transform flower nectar into honey? Indeed, forager bees suck nectar from flowers into their honey stomachs and then fly it to the hive. Hive bees then chew the substance and spit it into the honeycomb, fluttering their wings to dry it out. You could say honey is this tasty, a tasty tribute to the hard work of the humble honeybee. You mustn't confuse my lengthy description for admiration. At the end of the day, honeybees are still insects, and thus still ghastly. A wee bit less ghastly than most, I admit. Chat, when you eat honey, you're eating, like, bee acid reflux. It's delicious bee acid reflux, though, I'll tell you that much. Um, the horse mackerel supposedly derives its name from a false myth about its strength as a swimmer. The gist of it is that these fish are so powerful underwater that smaller fish can ride them as steeds. It's absurd, of course. Where would these alleged fish jockeys attach a saddle, much less horseshoes? One does wish that people would construct their legends with a bit more scientific plausibility. The worst pizza topping. I can think of many, many other worst pizza topping. You know what? It's the worst common pizza topping, in my opinion. Pineapple, I'd rather eat pineapple than anchovy. There, I said it. Moist clowns, however, are pretty good. I'd prefer to eat neither, but... There are more than 140 species of anchovy, but they all have some things in common. They're all small and feed by simply swimming with their mouths open to filter food particles from the sea. My sleepier moments, I sometimes wish I could do that. And there you have it. Oh, that's interesting, I guess. But why are they so salty, Blathers? I don't eat fish, that's why I would, would choose pineapple over anchovy. So maybe that'll explain that. Again, pineapple on its own is wonderful. I, I only eat, um, I've mentioned this on stream before, but like clam chowder and uh, what's the other one? Uh, fried calamari. I have, like, traumatic fish memories from the past. <laughs> Weird. The char is one of the bigger fish around, and in the world of fish, that's quite an accomplishment. They are territorial predators, and therefore must constantly defend their turf from others. So when you see a large char like this one, it's likely a skilled fighter and veteran of many battles. Vinny, I feel like that needs some explanation. Um, my parents used to take me to these really gross fishy places that were like right on the water um, near Wildwood, New Jersey. And the, the fish, the places smelled awful. And the fish was really fishy. And I remember one time um, I tried some and it was just gross and it made me like kind of vom or, or get close to vomiting, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not really sure. It's like, you know, I was like seven. But I also remember my cousin, um, they were eating crabs, and he opened a crab, and it was just black on the inside. It was, And he called it like an alien. And that um, also kind of semi-inspired me to want to vom. And that's honestly the main reasons I don't eat fish, because when I smell them, I start like going back to that. It's very weak. I should be able to put it behind me. I've had swordfish recently. I've had whitefish. Like, I've tried it. 
It's not that I haven't tried it again, it just it did nothing for me. So, sorry about that, chat. That's my fish PTSD. I like fish. They're nice. Koi especially are really nice. Like, they're... I just don't want to eat them. I let the fish win, that's correct. Koi are a variety of carp bred for their color mutations starting more than a thousand years ago. Well, one glance at their impressive coloring tells you that the centuries of effort were worth it, and even today people still selectively breed koi in search of new color combinations. One marvels at the thought of what the koi may look like in another thousand years. Vinny, speaking of Wildwood, have you ever been to Cape May? Um, I have not tried lobster, but yeah, I've been to Cape May. I like, I love Cape May. I go almost every year. I go to Wildwood for like two days, and then one of those days I spend in Cape May. I love Cape May. Stink bug. I dare say the name of it says it all. Um, stink bugs are known for their stench. Who? P U. <laughs> As it happens, these crop-eating pests are straw-like. Use straw-like mouths to pierce plants and drink the juices. And when threatened, they use a smelly chemical in their belly to release their odious odor. Who? How do they live with themselves? Yeah, I have a little bit of a history with stink bugs. Not a fan. Okay, we'll do some donation. I, I don't plan on donating everything today on stream, because again, this takes a long time, but... Um, okay, the, um, Mila Kunis, I already donated that. Um, Quetzal Torso. Could it be, is it a Quetzal Torso? I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved Quetzal Torso. Torso? Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? The Quetzal Cotalus, the undisputed ruler of the skies, at least during the late Cretaceous period. It had a magnificent wingspan of roughly 36 feet, making it one of the largest flying animals ever. While it no doubt soared magnificently, we now know that it also crawled on all, on all fours. It's a bit disappointing, really, this illustrious sky god scrabbling on the ground like a common beetle. So you should never meet your heroes. It's Quetzalcoatlus. 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 Yeah, I'll check out the museum today. See what progress I've made. Uh, probably donate a couple more things. I'll donate all my fossils at least. So, what would be a good gift for Celia? Let's take a look. Oh. A snail, a trash can. Chat, can I give Celia a wasp? I need furniture number two. So after I get this piece of furniture, I'm going to try to gift Celia um, a brand new gift card. Okay, 
All these trees have been checked, I think. It's easy to lose track, but I think I got them. Alright, um, let's go visit Celia real quick. Vinny, how much canned food do you have stocked? I have... like, eight cans of stuff. Um, between soup and veggies and stuff like that. But I have a ton of other stuff, so... The canned food is just supplemental. Where are your MREs? I don't know, man. Wh where's that dude from the internet that eats the MREs and smokes the cigarettes from 1942? Fine, did you come to celebrate with me? That's so sweet. Sorry, I guess I'm a little choked up from the sweet gift I got just before... Excuse me, you arrived! Yeah, Louis all dressed up, but his ass is just out. I do have a gift for you. It's a wasp. <laughs> oh, Feathers, you brought me a wasp. Are you sure you want to give me such an expensive gift? Thank you very much. I feel like this year's birthday will be a hard one to forget. Yeah, for all the wrong reasons. You're late, Vine. We were waiting for you. Today is Celia's big day. Nice Elton John glasses, dude. Everyone's in a party flex mode. So lucky to be able to spend my birthday with friends, Feathers. Thoughtful present. It took me all of 14 seconds to discover that I had a wasp in my inventory and I was going to give it to you, so I'm glad you like it. There it is. Rats on low table. Rat? Rats? Still can't wait to unlock more music. Vinny, are you gonna stream the not longo thingy tomorrow? What, what is that? I don't even know what that means. The not not longo? Hello, my name is Longo Star. I'm from the Longos. I think maybe that was like a play on Nintendo. Like joking about a Nintendo Direct tomorrow, that's not going to happen. Usually we get like two days notice on a Nintendo Direct. You know, we were just a band. There was Ringo, there was Longo, there was Bongo, Shorto. Just a band, that's all.
just a bound. We don't have any release dates for any Nintendo games coming up, chat. Yo, that's cool. That's cool. It darkened the room so much. Just... Why? It's so fucking cool. I guess just because it doesn't reflect light as well. I don't know. That one looks cool too. It's a little Spongebob-y. No windows? Oh, you don't get windows with that one. That is interesting. That's- that's really cool. I didn't know that was in the game. I could just get a bunch of floor lights, chat, and then just, like, set them up all around and just have it be dark in here. That might be cool. I might do that, actually. I might uh, buy a bunch of uh, floor lights. And you can customize these floor lights, I'd imagine, too, right? Like, bathroom flooring. Vinny, did you hear that Jared Leto started a cult? Yep. I think um, the news article, the article about it, he, he said it was just a joke, bro. But he's walking around on an island with, like, Jesus. That's old? Okay. Well, whatever's going on, it's very strange. Kind of cool. It's a uh, it's kerosene. A little fitting. Put it up there too. That's cool. More interaction. Being able to put things on top of tall things is nice. It's gonna burn down the whole fucking house, but... I wonder if I can put that on top of the amp. Ah. Uh. Yeah, when I have something... ...like, better... To put that on, I can put it down here, like on top of another thing over here. Oh, I got the retro stereo. Jesus. The quality increased. And the volume, too. Yeah, Skull doesn't have good speakers. That's cool. That's another really interesting thing.
Oh, I want to, that's what rattan is. It's one of these things. It's like a, like a basket weave kind of thing. I'm not really into that. Mate. Someone said, what the fuck was that fossil's name? Um, Mila Kunis. You can adjust the volume from the stereo itself. Oh, yeah. That's cool. There, there's just... A lot of neat little things that you can do. Got so many fossils. I'm not doing anything with my yard until I end up moving my house to this island. So, my yard is still a mess. There's a Korok leaf mask. Yeah, I saw that. I saw a picture of it. Tons of fossils. Vinny, are you going to have Scoot's house next to yours? Yes. Duncan Storus, Duncan Donosaurus. So I'm going to donate the ones that we've already, you know, heard. So all of that we've already gotten a lesson on. Um, <laughs> Jeremiah? It's the Jeremiah. Ah, yes, the Jeremiah, one of the first mammals and one of the few to live alongside the dinosaurs. In order to hide from much larger dinosaurs, it was less than four inches long and quite unobtrusive. Is it a rat? Some even theorize that these mammals were nocturnal until the dinosaurs went extinct. They needed every advantage to live among these behemoths. They were nocturnal before it was cool. <laughs> Small, rat-like creature. Hmm. Uncle Tesaurus. Dunkel Osteus. <laughs> it's Dunkel Osteus, sorry. Completely different uh, pronunciation. The Dunkel Osteus flourished long before the dinosaurs and was a sort of armored fish. Curiously, only fossils for the head and shoulders have been found. We must simply imagine the rest. While its face was rather frightening, I'd like to picture a cute little tail and perhaps some fluffy paws on its fins. What? Such, spe such speculation is not scientific, of course, and essentially amounts to paleontological fan fiction. I can't believe Blathers is writing Final Fantasy VII fan fiction. Thank <laughs> you. 
the pop-eyed goldfish have, as the name suggests, huge round eyes. But as babies, they look like other goldfish. As they grow, their eyes begin to pop out and they gain their who distinct appearance. Imagine the poor fish fancier who unknowingly bought one. Their eyes might as well pop out just as far. Oh, you need more FOV! The cherry salmon is related to the salmon and is known for its distinctive pattern of polka dots. These polka dots disappear as they mature, but only in the fish of certain geographic areas. Pity the poor researchers that must have made must make sense of the cherry salmon's fickle fashion sense. This one's rare, or, you know, apparently is going away by the end of March. So catch your Emperor Butterflies now, chat. An Emperor Butterfly, what a wretched thing. The Emperor Butterfly is called the Jewel of the Forest, but its vivid blue hue... Ugh, let me tell you. The color does not come from a dye, but rather the light reflecting off layers of translucent scales. Yes, butterfly wings are covered in tiny scales. SCALES! Butterfly. Ugh, more like snake of the sky. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Blathers? For some reason, I read donate as donate in my mind. Like, I just, my mind just played a weird trick on me. Donate, please! The wharf roach is an omnivore, which is merely a polite way of saying it will eat almost anything. The skittering scavenger and its uncouth appetite help keep beaches clean, it said. Dare I say their long antennae and bulging eyes turn my stomach. Unappetizing indeed, I agree. Please to do nothing. Crucian Carp. Do you know how to tell the difference between a Crucian's uh, Carp and the standard issue Carp? It's quite easy to tell the two apart. One must simply locate the barbells, or rather, the lack of them. Just what is a barbell, you ask? Well, a barbell looks like a little something like a mustache. Its run-of-the-mill Carp will sport this unsightly facial hair, while a Crucian Carp is considerably better groomed. I tried to grow a mustache when I was younger, but it never did fill in quite right. All the best in the end, as mustaches go so much better with noses than with beaks. Blathers lore. I haven't been in here in a while. Wow, this- a lot of this filled out. Dave, I'm online! Oh, that's the Milakunis. There's Dunkelostius. Amber. Color of your energy. <laughs> Whoa! Is this the Diplo? Diplodocus. Docious. Diplo. Diplo. Shush, shush, shush. Almost done. Spino's almost done too. Almost nothing 
here. Oh, we got one. Diplod duck duckus. Diploduck diploducus. Oh, I think I saw the rat. I mean, it's not specifically a rat. Kind of looks a little bit like one, though. Vinny, stand in your spot. Stand in the place where you were. Now face north. Think about direction. Wonder why you haven't before. That's a little rat-like. Looks cool. If you stand on the last spot in the animal lore room, it illuminates you. Your spot in the evolutionary chart. I've been illuminated. I'm the luminary. I'm still wearing um, boots that I caught in the river, by the way. Take a look at some fish. Oh, what happened to my voice there? <clears throat> We're good. I still have to ca uh, what do I have to catch? The sturgeon and the stringfish. And let me just say, fuck the stringfish. I'm gonna make a couple of attempts on today's stream. Horse mackerel. Anchovy. I like that you catch one anchovy and they suddenly get 150 anchovies. I love this exhibit. There's the ore fish. And the football fish. Big lads. Vinny, you're missing two deep sea fish. I'm probably missing a lot. Someone said it would be nice if villagers visited the museum. They used to. Sometimes you'd catch, like, scoot at the museum. Oh, they still do.
best museum. They did such a good job with it. Diplodocus. <laughs> uh, bugs? We'll do bugs later. Divide them up. The bugs are... For me, there's... I have less bugs than I... Um... I need a shovel. I have less bugs than I do fish. So... We'll take a look. What do I need again? I, so I have, um... Okay. Hardwood. Vinny put in the new floor light. Uh, I ordered it. So it'll be here tomorrow. Vinny, do you prefer museums, zoos, or aquariums? Oh, fuck. That's a tough question. I think museums. Aquariums are very, very, very close, but in New York City, the museums that we have are so fucking cool, and there's so much to them, that I feel like I have to choose that. So, you know, there's at least, like, four museums that I can point to. Like, the Museum of the Moving Image is one of my favorite museums. They have the Blade Runner building there, so, you know... I think that's kind of obvious why I like that. It's about... Uh, they got Muppets there. The real Muppets are there right now. They got Dark Crystal stuff. Um, you know, real... Oh yeah, you can make little jumps, by the way, chat. I don't know if you knew that. But, yeah, they have all this great stuff, all these great movie props. They have a script from Seinfeld that Larry David himself wrote. Um, so yeah, that museum, the Museum of Natural History, is one I go to at least once or twice a year. And I enjoy that one quite a bit. Um, the MoMA is just amazing for how wonderfully pretentious it is. And, and a lot of fun, too, to see all the weird, you know, art exhibits. I've talked about it on stream before. It's the Museum of Modern Art. So I like that one. Every now and then, it's nice to go check it out. But the Metropolitan Museum of Art has a great... I don't know if they still have it, but last time I went, they had this really great rock exhibit. And they had, like, Jimmy Page's outfits, his guitars, Jack White's guitar. They had, um, Jimi Hendrix, uh, you know, Prince, Kurt Cobain's, like, broken guitar. They had all this great rock and roll stuff. Trent Reznor's synthesizers. And it was just a really fucking cool exhibit. Yeah, not like rocks, as in like these things, like rocks. Or the rock. But yeah, they had like a um, classic rock exhibit that I really enjoyed. And they had like stuff, like you got to see someone's like Keith Richards' entire rig was there. For his, like his touring rig. And a little video of Keith Richards talking about his... Guitars and amps and pedals was on loop. So... It was just so cool. I, I really like that. So yeah, museums, just for the variety of it, but I, I love aquariums too. 
sea life is just fascinating to me. Baltimore Aquarium? Nah, I haven't been there. I, I was at the New England one. Talked about that one the other day. That one's great. You can take the damn massive dinosaurs, no problem. Take, enjoy, have fun. Piano bench. Yeah, that's a good price. your hot item today rose wreath we pay twice the usual amount for hot items i can make a couple of those i think we have some i think we have some roses on the island right hello can i have a thousand red roses please oh hey tommy didn't know it was you Roses do you need for- well, I'll just collect that, all of them, I guess. Three of each color. I mean, it's money. Might as well just do it. Emperor Butterfly, get dollar. They sell for a decent amount. Blue Butterfly is 4k. Oh, fuck. I've been missing out on that much dollar? Two of them. Are you Blue Butterfly? Oh my god! It's fantastic! Oh, 
string fish is 15k. I need a string fish for my museum. We're gonna go string fish hunting today, chat. I need, yeah, I need clam. There, yeah, I, uh, you, can you buy the bait or do you have to create your own clam bait? You gotta make it. Make the clam bait. All right. Yeah, tarantulas sell for quite a bit. Like videos of people having like four tarantulas chase them at the same time. They somehow have man managed to find Tarantula Island. I've seen, um, people were saying in chat the other day, that's the new meta of this game. Just tarantula hunting. Rancho Isle. The Office 2020. Everyone is teleconferencing. Jim creates and wears a Dwight face filter. Dwight is furious. Stanley's walls are covered in erotic art. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, uh, that's good. Now. Now listen up here now. I love it. Thank you for that. That's good. Powery? Why? What is this shit? You're sending me like garbage At least the letter was good Vinny look at it closely I mean I see people posting cleats I get it. Make no mistake, I get it. Oh, that's nasty, Peter. Hmm. I'm just gonna sell it. Still needed like another hundred K until I can upgrade my house, so any any little bit helps. It's the one that fell off from that Rimworld post, yep. <laughs> fell off. Carl, what do you mean it fell off? It come off. Bung a new, a new lung on ya. <laughs> Bung a new lung. Chat, did you know you can make like little jumps? I found this out last night, watch this. kind of happens. Some, like, serious skills. Blue
blue bear, blue butterfly. Oh, hey, 4K bells. Not gonna make this one easy, are you? Okay. You gotta work for your 4K bells. As for Stanley's erotic art, did you ever see The Shining? You know, when, um, Dick Halloran, played by the, uh, classic Scatman Crothers. As they show his house, like, it just zooms out from erotic art. It's one of the most memorable introductions to someone's living room I've ever seen. Well, bedroom. I actually thought that he was, um, in Doctor Sleep, the guy who played Dick Halloran was very good. I thought he did a really good job at being the character, but not imitating Scatman too much. Same for Wendy. Um, the actress who played Wendy was pretty good, too. Not Wendy's. No, not Wendy's. Day 12 in isolation. I forgot what fast food tasted like. Oh, this is f fine by me. It's fine by me. So the sturgeon would be at the opening of a river into an ocean, yeah? So this wouldn't be a sturgeon. How dare you not be a sturgeon? where the rocks are. It's a significantly large fish. The controller will go mental and rumble when you're reeling it in. Oh. The weather is too nice for it to be a coelacanth, but it's a big fish. Always a goddamn sea bass. Always. Not that many clams. Go to New Island. I will. Usually when I run out of stuff to do, I go visit a New Island. But we gotta catch the string fish, so I'm gonna just get a couple more clams, turn them into fish food.
How many times have I hit that one rock, I wonder? Just gotta check. Every time. I still haven't found the money rock. So after my fish expedition, money rock will be next. And again, the game hasn't even really opened up yet. Like, apparently you need all of the villagers to move in. Um, all three of the initial ones to move in. Then the game kind of opens up a lot more. So three uh, plus the original two. Okay, I'm good. If you play tomorrow, Nook's tent becomes a building by Saturday. Oh, cool. So, I was mentioning quality of life stuff. I feel like this game is already leagues beyond um, the previous games, but wouldn't it be nice if I could just craft all? Vinny, that's too convenient. Shut up. Okay. Vinny, that's not realistic. <laughs> now, I know you're joking because there literally are talking animals. you can't do anything with other other people are on your island yeah the, the amount of things that you're limited to doing when other people visit is definitely I noticed it last night it's lame great game you know I love it there's some stuff there's definitely some stuff that could use some improvement I, I would only hope like you know, Nintendo issued a really great patch for New Leaf. And I think it would be cool if they did something similar for this. Like an update, not a patch. I mean, it was a substantial update. It actually got me to come back and play the game. It felt like a new game almost. But, you know, if they just fixed up a couple things, added some convenience things, I'd be very happy. Maybe some of those mini-games that they had in New Leaf for when people would come over to your island. Vinny, it's been five days. I'm not talking about any time this year. I'm talking about, like, maybe a year from now, two years, whatever, because there's, like, events and they're planning DLC, so it's not like the game is going to remain static. But just a couple minor things I think would increase the enjoyability of the experience. That said, I'm obviously addicted to it and really loving it. So it's not really bothering me that much. But enough to bitch about it on stream for 8,000 people.
Chad, here we go. The quest for the stringfish. Ten tries. Should I just scare them away if their shadow isn't huge? That's it. That's the one. I tried like 18 times last night or more. That's it! The stringfish! It's the windfish at the top of the island. It's another bass. Someone said they tried getting a string fish for two hours last night. Shit. Wow, oh, this is a small lad. Wrong place, dude? No, this is the right place. It's not the wrong place, this is where I caught mine. Yeah, several chat members are typing. If you drop another bait, it replaces the shadow. I mean, I can still... This is for... Um... This is still good for Miles and for, you know, Bells. So it's not... The worst thing to catch the fish that you're... Summoning out of nowhere. I'm online. When is Half-Life Alex? Uh, probably tonight. Not even really that much later, because it's almost tonight already, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna make dinner tonight. I've got, um, some zucchini and chicken. I'm probably gonna do something like that. I got Brussels sprouts, too, because, I don't know, I'm weird. I like them. So. 
That'll be in between now and Half-Life Alex. Vinny, why have you been streaming early the past couple of weeks? Quarantine or just addicted to games? Um, both. Yes. Yes, both. Uh, I guess we could go to another island now, since the, the hunt for the stringfish failed. Vinny, is New York a madhouse now? Not really. Like I said, it's this, the roads are empty. Um, people are not in the supermarkets acting crazy. Like I said, I was at the supermarket yesterday and it was... Compared to a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, that was like, let's say if that was like 80% capacity in the store, yesterday was 10%. It was just dead. Um, but yeah, people are just jogging. You know, I see people, like, at parks still, but they're actually, like, far apart from each other and not playing basketball. Vinny, how do you make your Brussels sprouts? Um, I cut them in half, and I usually bake them. I just like a little oil, salt, and pepper. That's good enough. You could do bacon on them too. Bacon's pretty good with them. But, you just put them in the oven, get them a little crispy. Same for broccoli. You could do that with a lot of vegetables, but broccoli and Brussels sprouts, I find, are the ones I like the most like that. Roasted veggies, yeah, I like that too. I mean, there's there's a lot of... I bought like a fuckload of potato <clears throat> potatoes. I have like a big bag of potatoes. So I could, uh... I could make french fries. Or whatever the fuck I want. Those go pretty good with almost anything, so... And they last a long time, those, the, those patats. Vinny, stop making vegetables sound tasty. Yeah, no, I couldn't believe it myself when I started finding ways to cook vegetables that made them taste good. Because when I was younger, I would, like, they would feed me. You know, my, my parents, my grandparents, whoever. They would feed me these, like, really just tasteless vegetables. It was just like, boiled broccoli, have fun. You know, it's mostly just steamed vegetables, and when you're a kid, vegetables are hard enough to eat. And it just turned me off to them for years, because it was like there was no taste, no flavor. And then years later, I'm like, oh, you can actually put cheese and stuff, or you can, you know, combine it, or you can cook it a certain way that you get them a little crispy. I'm not sure I would have loved it as a kid, but at least now, like, I know that's something I can do. It's healthy. Ish, depending on how much oil you use, probably not too much, but... 
and zucchini, I just, like, fry, pretty much. Not, like, just a little bit of oil, barely. And you just kind of cut them up into little pieces and just cook them on a pan, like, um, saute. Well, steamed broccoli isn't that bad. Now I like broccoli, however it is. Now I have no problem with any kinds of broccoli. But when I was younger, I hated it. Zucchini makes a great addition to pasta sauce. It does. Okay, so we got the money rock. Um, we can go over to... Hmm. We can start paying off the house. Someone said, I still don't like tomatoes, though. I have- I still have a lot of trouble with tomatoes, depending on... If they're really fresh, I can have them on a sandwich or a burger. If they're just shitty, regular old tomatoes, I really don't want them. Um, I don't like to eat them on their own, but I don't mind, like, a salsa or diced tomatoes. It just depends. Like, um, bruschetta is good on bread. Like, diced tomatoes with oil and, um, some, like, oregano and basil and salt pepper. That's good. I like that. Little onions. It just depends, really, on, like, how fresh and good the tomato quality is. Because if you go to Wendy's and you're, like, you're getting a burger, with tomato, it's like, wait a minute, these tomatoes don't. Ugh. What? Are, what the fuck are these things? Yeah, I learned a lot of this stuff from Red Bib, like how to actually cook. Two years of th cooking three times a week. All kinds of different shit will teach you how to cook pretty, pretty easily. Drummer for R.E.M. and King Crimson died? Well, no, 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 Nine Inch Nails, you mean. There was a dude... There was a dude, I, I didn't know he was in R.E.M. at any point. Um, Bill Riflin. Oh yeah, he was in R.E.M.? What did he do in R.E.M.? He played with R.E.M., Nine Inch Nails, King Crimson in a career spanning more than 30 years. Jesus. I don't know if he was R.E.M.'s main drummer, though. Let me just check real quick, because... I care about this stuff. It was very brief tenure with R.E.M. I mean, it's still sad as fuck. But, um... He... did... um, some stuff with them from 2003 to 2011. Bill Berry did most of their drums. For, uh, their... like, you know... their best years. It sucks, there's a lot of people, like, a lot of older people that are, you know... It's like every day, a new prominent person who's older passes away, and it's just, it's... As if this doesn't drive home how fucked up this is right now anyway, but... Yeah. So, stay safe, everybody.
Let's go to the, um, other island. If anyone sees 4K bells flying around, please let me know. Vinny, have you listened to the Swans? I, I think I have. I think I've played the Swans during BRB, but I don't know a lot of their music or any of it off the top of my head, to be honest. Like, I couldn't tell you what specific songs they have, but I'm almost positive I've heard. Did he know any albums like The Empyrean? John Frusciante's solo album? That's a great album. Um, a, that's a great album. Lots of his solo stuff is great. So, I don't think there's gonna be any, um, villagers here, right? Because I already have my villagers. Yo, what is this island? Bell Island? Rare Flower Island? Hybrid Flowers? Wait, so am I digging them up or just taking the, the flowers themselves? Those flowers attract rare bugs. Dig, take them with you. Pink rose, plant, ah, uh, but there's... They take up one slot each. I'll take as many as I can. The orange ones, too. Take four or five of each. I might drop a couple things then. Like, I'm gonna drop some clay. Probably have enough rocks. Drop some sticks. Should have left the piano bench at home. Oh shit! Oh, it's a koi. I thought it was new. are 4k worth it
Someone said tires are actually good to keep. All trash is pretty good in this game. You get a trash wallpaper and floor. Yeah, but it's like, I have to wonder, is it worth... Is it, is it worth not getting the hybrid plants? To bring back trash. Cool box. And these sell for a decent amount, too. So it's, um... It's like five of each I've got. Oh, stack. I'll sell the loose ones, but I'll, I'll keep the, um, the ones I, I dug up. Keep some around? Well, I- you never go back to these islands, right? You can wear a whole stack of flowers. You really can. Uh, let me try to catch a couple more fish real quick. I don't know what else I haven't caught. From like ponds, I think I, I pretty much have... Golden Trout? Golden Trout is River. I don't know if these are going to sell for a lot, but I'm going to try anyway. Also, like, they'll grow back if I ever come back here, which apparently you don't. I don't know, but I'm not, like, ripping them up. Like, they'll just, they'll grow back. You don't, you can't. Okay, so some people were saying you do through RNG, but... I'm just gonna take the trash with me, I think.
You only come back to the same types of islands, never the same exact one. Yeah, I shook the trees. There's one furniture per island, if I'm not mistaken, right? Because I got it already. I got a toolbox from the tree. More koi. Well, let's see. Let's see how much these things sell for. Flowers? That's not too bad, I guess. It's like, yeah, one tarantula worth of... ...money. 800 bells for a stack of 10. So I'm just going to plant these, and then probably, uh, stop. Let's see, what would be a good spot? Maybe up here. This feels like a decent spot. What happened to getting the string fish? Oh, I gave up. I let the fish win. That looks pretty cool. So I could get rare insects up here now, maybe. There's some... Peacock butterflies. Just take a look at my toolbox, and then we'll go to the insect section of the museum, and then I'm going to stop the stream. Yep. Don't know what I was expecting, but that is certainly a toolbox.
Was that a missing sign for Scoot? Yes. Man-faced stink bug. Honeybee, tiger beetle. Oh god, it's out! Mantis! There's a koi. Bug, centipede, moth. Doc! Paper kite butterfly. Spider. God, I wouldn't- if I had a museum where insects could just be anywhere, I would not trust people around them. I feel like too many bugs would get stepped upon. Eaten? Oh god. Where is my Rantula? I thought there was- where's the Rantula? You never donated it. No, I've donated. There's a loose Rantula out here somewhere. I guess I didn't donate it. It's supposed to be in the north room? Oh, so then I guess I didn't donate one. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Check your Critterpedia. All oh, right. Donated. No, not donated? Oh, oh, it says it in the bottom right. I see. I see. I didn't donate a snail either. Oh, fuck, really? Oh, damn. It is I who have become the fool. It's in your storage. Yeah, I think what I did was, uh, I think I sold my storage. No ranchos in here. No siree, Jim. Well, I'll just have to catch some more then.
Yeah, once I get some more floor lights... It's gonna look good. Oh yeah, real working trash cans too. I still have like, no good clothing options. Oh well. Alright, well thanks for watching everybody. I'll be back later, uh, more than likely, with Half-Life Alex. Possibly more streaming. Might do RimWorld before Half-Life Alex, maybe? I'll see. I'm not sure. Um, I am feeling a lot better than I did yesterday. I was not feeling up to streaming at all, but now I feel a little bit better, so I might do some RimWorld and then Half-Life Alex. If not, then just Half-Life Alex. So, thank you for stopping by, and uh, I hope Animal Crossing was peaceful and enjoyable. Soon enough, the game will open up a little bit more. We're just gotta wait for Egbert to move in fully. Um, while I'm gone, if you want to watch some other streamers, Limes is live, Gears live, so this is a good time to watch and check out some new streamers. So uh, do that if you want. I'll see you guys later. Bye.